G'day, it's Oscar here from Drones for Hire. We're going to have a quick look at the different gear and how you can stack your package, why you might add certain equipment to your package and how you're going to use all that together. The first thing we're going to obviously get is going to be our spray drone. So here we've got a T50 with a remote control. Your T50 comes remote control, drone, and it'll come with a cooling station as well. From there, you're going to want to add batteries. So your typical three battery bundle consists of the aircraft remote control, three batteries, and then a charger. Now, in terms of batteries, three is sufficient for most operations we find. If you're a contractor, you're probably going to want to add another battery to get you up to four. That depends a little bit on what kind of charger you got. So you can see here that we got two chargers. We got the C8000 and we got the C10000. Now, the C10,000 runs off three phase power. The C8,000, you've got two 15 amp plugs. Now, there's two batteries can be connected to the C8,000. Only one battery at a time can be connected to the C10,000. The thing is, the C8,000 is not charging two batteries simultaneously. So both those um, inputs will go into one battery and jam it in and get it charged up as fast as possible. It will choose the battery that's closest to being fully charged and focus on that one. Once it's finished, it'll automatically switch across. The C10,000 though, will charge your batteries at around about a minute to two minutes faster than the C8000. But you don't have that dual uh, battery connection, so you have to listen to the generator, swap it over when it's necessary. Honestly, from an operational point of view, I would recommend the C10,000 because it is that bit faster. You can still manage your batteries by just, once you've finished, you return home, you'll swap your batteries, and even if it does finish in, uh, before you're ready to, to take the next battery out, because it's that good bit quicker, it's, um, it's much more usable. The other thing here, we've got a, this is an older version of the cooling stations. The way they work is, our charger plugs into here and then our batteries just slide in. Got two fans on the front here and they blow air through our cooling fans, our aluminium cooling fans, to keep our temperature management on our batteries. There's also a spot for another battery in behind. So typically what you do, if you're using the C10,000 for example, Note that you can only have one battery hooked up anyway, so if you're using the cooling station, that the dual charge output on this is not as useful. But typically, the drone would return, you'd put the um, battery coming out of the drone into the back part for cooling, and then you'd swap the one that had been cooling into the charging point to cool and charge. And then we take out our ready battery, and it goes and puts into the drone. Okay, if you want to step it up from here, and most people will do this, you're going to look at a spreader. So this spreader will, the, the spray tank on the drone just here, will just pop straight out and the spreader will go in and just be connected on the same plug as the spray system. That's going to allow your spray drone to become a spreading drone. Really good for, for honestly anything you want to spread. Um, mouse baits, slug baits, pasture seed, herbicide, granulated herbicide, it's fantastic. You can do um, fertilizer. We've, we've got people we work with who do up to 30, 60 tons. It does take a little bit longer, obviously, than a, than a ground-driven rig, but these, this is in country where there is no option for a ground rig, and suddenly you can get access and you can put out that, um, that product yourself. Next thing we're gonna look at is gonna be the RTK units. So RTK, um, we've got some other videos which will explain RTK. RTK is real-time kinematics. It's basically working as, a, as an anchor. It's a ground station which anchors your GPS and means that you don't get that GPS drift through the day. So as soon as one of these units is on, it creates that anchor point which gives you more accuracy. So you go from you know, maybe a 600 mil accuracy down to 10 mil accuracy through the day. You've got two options here, as you can see, we've got the RTK3 base station and the RTK2 base station. 
at this point, both systems are pretty well doing the same job, except the newer RTK3 will allow you to do um, ground control points, which is something that might be useful if you're going to get into surveying and that sort of thing. And with the newer mapping drones, the M4E, it also becomes a relay, relay station as well. For the spray drones, the, the relay at this point is, is not functioning. So if you're looking for that extra accuracy, and if you do go into mapping, that's when you're going to bring in the RTK units. So if we come over and have a look at some of the mapping drones now, this is the M4E. This is what I would recommend if you're going to look into the mapping. It's going to allow you to go out into the field, take a whole lot of images, it then stitches that together in something called an ortho mosaic, and then you can go into there on the computer and you can pick out your target species, you can plan your mission, your spray mission, and in the, the most extreme sort of version of that, you can then create yourself a three-dimensional flight path which is targeting specific areas. So really powerful and, and gives us the ability to make our spray missions really automated, which is fantastic and very accurate. We bring that 10 mil accuracy in. You'll note on the top here, we've got a RTK um, receiver, which gives us that 10 mil accurate accuracy. And we've got a nice big remote now in the, in the, newer, um, in the newer mapping drones. Okay, over here we've got the, the older, the M3. This is an M3 thermal. So if you look on the front, on the cameras, you can see the, the thermal camera over here. This is great for stock work. Um, if you're looking to get pests um, like pigs or that sort of thing, great for that. Environmental work on, on doing counts and that sort of thing. There's also a thermal version in the M4 um, T, which is got similar camera, but the advantage of the M4T is you get that bigger remote control and you get um, more AI to, to make some of those features of the thermal more automated. If you're going into the mapping, then you're going to need a laptop as well. Now, to stitch all those pictures together, we require a pretty um, capable laptop with a high GPU. So you're going to want to get a specific laptop for most people, they're not, they're, their current computer is not going to be able to handle that. Um, so you're going to have to look at that. Look at, there's, they're basically a gaming computer. They've got high GPU, high RAM. Once you've got all that, you've decided, okay, do I need a, a three battery bundle? Do I want to include the spreader? Do I need RTK? All that sort of thing. And you can have a chat to, to the guys in the office about w what package will suit you. There's a couple of, there's two more things really to consider. One, you need a way to charge your batteries in field. So you're gonna need a generator. So over here, we've got the 16 kVA generator. So this is a three phase. So this is, we can use this one on with the C10,000. Um, it's also got the two 15 amp outlet. So we can use a C8,000 as well with this. And then once you've got your, your generation system um, sorted, then you're going to need a way to, to fill your drone. So for example, over here, we've got our DFH Batch Master, which you're going to mix your product in, and then you've, you've got your retractable hose that you then run out to the drone and fill it up. Okay, so there's a lot of information there, and for some people, there's a lot of new um, technology there. So it does take a minute to get your head around all, all the options and how they're going to apply to you. Remember, you can give us a call, we can have a chat and determine what sort of package would suit you. But if we summarize it, you've got two basic pa packages. You've got your three battery bundles, what they're called, which includes your drone, your remote control, three batteries and a charger. Most people will add the spreader to that. It gives you a lot of versatility. Then your secondary package is going to be your more advanced package. So that's going to bring in your RTK station, a laptop to do your processing, and a mapping drone. Within those two packages, either one, you're going to need a way to charge your batteries, and you're going to need a way to fill your tank. Now, 
there's a lot of growers and contractors will already have a tank or they'll already have a generator, which will do. But also you have to make sure that they are gonna suit your system. So the 16 kVA is the one we recommend at the moment. It's got enough power to do a quick charge. And as far as the Batchmaster goes, the retractable hose, the, the petrol pump, the way you can mix chemicals and wash out your drums is, is really effective. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email, or give us a call. Thanks for watching.